The wife of U.S. President Barack Obama has begun a week-long trip to China. This is Michelle Obama's first solo trip to the country. Her plans are significant, not just for the United States, but also for China itself. The trip was announced on March 4th. The next day, she visited a Mandarin immersion school in Washington, D.C. Students showed her presentations about cultural sites she will be visiting. She also learned some Chinese phrases, all that to get set for this visit. CCTV's Su Yuting is live in Beijing, and it sounds like Friday is going to be a very big day. Yes, that's right, Mike. Uh, on Friday, Michelle Obama uh, will visit, uh, will meet with Peng Li Yuan, the wife of President Xi Jinping, and the two first ladies are expected to spend the day together. Uh, they will just visit uh, Beijing Normal School, a school that prepares students to attend universities abroad. And then Michelle Obama will visit Forbidden City with Peng Li Yuan to gain more understanding of Chinese culture and its history. And then they will uh, have a dinner together in the evening and also watch a performance. On this, the first of the three days that Michelle Obama will spend here in Beijing. An unprecedented and historical moment in the chapter of China-U.S. relations. U.S. First Lady Michelle Obama arrived in Beijing on Thursday afternoon with her daughters and her mother. It's the first time a U.S. First Lady has visited China by herself. Experts say it's also a soft move for U.S. public diplomacy to make amends with China. Well, last time when uh, President Xi Jinping went to uh, uh, sunny lands in California, unfortunately, Michelle Obama could not make it over to California. And so I think that was uh, viewed by many Chinese as uh, a deep disappointment. So this time she's coming over to China, and I think this is kind of a makeup for her absence at sunny lands last year. So uh, this is, uh, again, like I said, it's an excellent example of public diplomacy by the U.S. government. The U.S. First Lady is looking to talk with young people to promote culture exchanges between the two countries. She's promising to keep people informed about her trip by updating her blog every day. She hopes the visit will help young people in the U.S. gain a better understanding of China. Well, both the U.S. and China say this visit is meant to further strengthen ties between the two sides. But Su Yuting, what more do we know about her visit there? Well, Mike, we know that Michelle Obama will focus a lot on education and youth issues. And here in Beijing, that uh, she will uh, just uh, deliver remarks on those topics over the weekend. On Saturday, she will go to Peking University to meet the students there. And the audiences will comprise of the American students who have studied here at Peking University and also Chinese students who have studied abroad in the United States. And she are ex she's expected to highlight the significance of uh, education and also uh, some of the other cultural exchanges. And she will also highlight the importance of technology in enabling American students to connect and collaborate with students uh, studying abroad. And she will also uh, then visit the Summer Palace and also take sightseeing tour to the historical sites, including the Great Wall of China. And then she will leave Beijing and then go to Xi'an to take a look at the uh, ter uh, Terracotta Warriors and also uh, the Xi'an Old City Wall. And she will also meet some of the children there. And she will wrap up her visit in the school in Chengdu and also visit the Chengdu uh, Panda Base. So that will be the whole journey here in China. Back to you, Mike. Busy times, no doubt about it. Su Yuting live for us in Beijing. Thanks so much.